Hello, trading is closed on July 24th, 2019. We get a few outstanding targets that were hit today. These get to be crossed off the list. This number gets added, 301056. And unless we gap up tomorrow, that's my target for tomorrow's trade. Now, at some point, we should hit the cash equivalent of the futures high, which I believe we did at today's high. If I'm wrong, somebody can email me and correct me, but I believe we hit it. And when you stop right at the target, that can lead to some pretty strong uh, reversals. But of course, by the time you get the reversals, it's a bit late to act because you don't know ahead of time if that's where it ends. We said this move is false. The system said that move is false. Says that drop is false. Says the rally's false. Gives us a target of returning to 3010.56. Now, when this pattern is this high, lower than this high, you're not supposed to rally like this. You're supposed to drop. Came awfully close. Hard to be too picky around these things. But if this is a false move, we should reverse it tomorrow by gapping under this low at 3,837. And if we don't do that, then we're too picky because that's pretty close to that. But if it's false, we don't know until tomorrow's open, we should undercut that low and keep on dropping. So let's go over our calls. We said Wednesday's pattern had the early high, tended to have a high of the day in the final hour. Put call ratio is under its lower Bollinger band. It's still too much optimism for me. We had a stilt hybrid with a handle sloping up. It, it should retrace. Now we actually, if here's the low of, this, of the retracement, we retraced right to the high of the consolidation. So I guess we did. But I expect us to retrace to the low, not the high. That might happen if we undercut that low. That might happen sooner rather than later. We thought maybe that was an ending diagonal triangle. It wasn't really clear. Um, we said things should be clear after the early trade. Well, after the early trade, we gapped down and reversed it all. And often that leads to an all-day rally, which is what we got. We're still trying to find the end of this elusive wave blue B. And I'm not really certain this is it, but I only take things one day at a time. If it is it, I have this count, but I'm not really happy with any of the counts here. And because the count isn't clear, maybe it's not over. But again, we're just talking about tomorrow. Well, we, 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 we had to give up on this count, so just forget that. Wednesday's pattern has the early high, but it might be irregular. Hard to identify even in retrospect. A rally from the low to the high is positive. It's bullish. It should follow through. We don't follow through, and particularly if we gap down instead, it's quite negative. We have a MJT target. Lower, low, well, that's my wife talking to my granddaughter. We have the preferred time for a lower MJT target by tomorrow's close. And because we had to be closed right at the high, 50% chance of gapping down. We're also at the upper Bollinger Band on the monthly chart, and that's resistance. Just remember, if we gap under this low, means the wall into the close was a false rally, which we followed by a day-long drop. So... We have a lower target for tomorrow unless we gap up, that's it. And if we gap down under um, this, uh, actually it's this low, it's an all-day drop, and that's today's call.